Hi, I'm Nick, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to route Drum Daddy and Reaper. First thing we're going to want to do is go over to the left, right click it, click on this one that says Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. Um, then we're going to type in Contact with a K. And then you want to click on the one that says Contact 64 Out. Um, click Add. Um, then it's going to ask you if you want to make this ridiculous amount of tracks. You're going to click Yes. Cool. Um, if you don't see this uh, output section right here, you can just go up to here and click on outputs. Um, once you have that open, click on this plus sign. And then um, right here, you're going to type in how many tracks you want to make or outputs you want to make. Um, you can make anywhere from 1 to 64. I'm going to do 16 because that feels pretty normal. Um, leave this one on 2. Um, this uh, menu, you want to select the first one, uh, Stereo 1-1. One, one. Make sure this box is checked. And then check these last two boxes and then just hit OK. Um, OK. Cool. Um, now I'm going to delete all those tracks that I just created. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to recreate the uh, virtual instrument track. And then I'm going to open the same 64 out uh, contact that we opened before. Add. Uh, yes. Now we can open up Drum Daddy. Um, make sure this little section is set to Omni. And then we can route our Drum Daddy into Reaper. And it should work correctly. And I'm going to do it right here in front of your eyes so you can all see it working. And then that will conclude this video. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.